Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 13 March. It's a Friday. Light, light calendar. Um, let's take a look at ES there. We traded down to 13.84. Closed at 24.72. Dropped 90. Uh, 82 handles. No, 92 handles. Drop 92 handles, mother of God, amazing. Uh, drop 92 handles, 23.84. Now we're back at uh, 2,500. We've been as high as 2,550. Um, what can you say? Wow, the route is on. Um, the big, big point, which looks like we're heading for, is 23.17. Um, Eyes wide open, right? No reason we can't touch that today. Uh, no reason we can't get down to basically our target, which is 2188. Um, so buckle up. Going to be another wild one today. Uh, let's check the news flow. We also we saw the Fed yesterday came in with a 500 billion dollar repo. We bounced from 2500. 2650 uh, right back down uh, there's there's just a lot that needs to happen in the world for this uh, for this episode to be finished and it really you know you need full quarantine and the US is just resisting right they just think that this is going to be fine but if you just do a 30 day full quarantine not to be uh, glib but those who are going to die die those who get the disease, uh, get the virus, most people will get it and recover. Um, and there won't be this wild transmission that's still going on that no one can really get a, get their get their get a grip on and get their hands on. Um, and to survive economically during that uh, sort of transition period, the government just has to write a massive check and give it right to the people. Uh, Italy's trying to do that. You know, the Italian government is taking care of the mortgage payments of all of the citizens. And this is the kind of policy that uh, gets that sees you through the day on this kind of thing. And until this happens in the U.S., um, there's going to be continued fear, confusion, uh, and worry. So uh, I don't think this is over by any means. We want to sell rallies. It's quite difficult now at this point. It's just so hysterical. Uh, every hundred handles is four percent. Um, so I don't know. You just have to tactically sell rallies uh, and see how things go on the currency side. Wild day yesterday down to down to one ten fifty. We started buying um, in the 70s, 110.70s, but then we bailed, which now looks uh, quite stupid. Um, but now we're in the middle of nowhere, right? So not much to do in Euro today. No real, no real view. Cable uh, going to be hard to get out of its own way. The Brexit uh, talks were canceled because of the virus and all this business. Uh, 24.95 I think was the low uh, 24.90 was the low uh, not much to do 25.53 but if we get down to the lows we are not buyers uh, that's more of a momentum trade cable can go a lot lower um, dollar swiss screwing around uh we talked about getting long this stuff through 94.10 when there was a shortage of dollars. That trade worked out pretty well. Uh, got up to 95.50. But then when the repo came in um, and all of those dollars flooded back into the market, that trade quickly turned. Uh, and now we're back to a risk on, risk off. So you can sell rallies in dollar Swiss. Same thing with dollar yen. To a lesser degree, because of the BOJ that's lingering around, and they're likely to do massive stimulus. They keep saying, um, 
we don't really know whether this is a risk off metric anymore at all it it acts like that during parts of the day but other parts of the day it does not um, looks to me like dollar yen actually is going to head higher and I think that will be uh, a reflection of exactly what kind of stimulus they do out of Tokyo euro yen middle of nowhere we did not quite make a new low um, just on a, on a picture here we've been down to 110 so there's no reason we can't get down below these lows um, if hysterical stuff is happening in Europe um, euro yen is your horse and if Europe goes into full quarantine which I think it's going to do over the weekend um, that's actually good for euro yen so keep your eyes peeled for that news sterling yen it's like the cable chart a uh, little bit less volatile because cable and dollar yen are going in different directions but um, not much to do here sterling yen dollar czar is dollar czar right who wants to uh, own czar in these kind of uh, conditions this just is going to continue to go up um, it's slowed down a little bit here maybe because the price of oil is down 30 percent you know if if South Africa imports I don't know a million barrels a day right um, the price tag for that is 30 percent cheaper so you know 300 million a year in cost savings I don't know no threats a billion a year in cost savings if it's a million barrels a day this does help EM a little bit but let's not get carried away I'm not saying buy czar uh, I'm saying try and sell it on any kind of dip uh, obviously we talked about Wednesday we talked about between 15 60 and uh, 40 never got down there of course um, don't own czar Aussie crushed global growth story killing it Aussie yen crushed point of the charts today is <clears throat> looks like it's going to be a wild rangy type day um, no great levels no great um, setups gold yesterday that was a beauty wasn't it through 30 all the way down to 62 51 last night um, as we said yesterday we were buyers of gold between 51 and 31 we did not pay 51 overnight for gold and we are not buyers between 51 and 31 today in fact this is probably another break trade um, they'll just crush gold eventually when the crushing is over this is a buy um, but maybe it's between 1490 and 1520 anyway nothing to do at, at 1585 be very very careful at 1550 um, you don't want to buy low ones in gold you want to buy it as it steadies and starts moving higher you know this is basically a US rates trade or a US QE trade um, and since the Fed doesn't really sh want to show its hand um, we'll have to wait for next week to see uh, exactly what they're going to do or what kind of bazooka they're going to pull out finally bonds they've turned I, I, I've said it we said it last week I'm saying it again risk parity is blowing up but th it's just more than risk parity this whole episode is really showing to light the how valueless valueless fixed income is at these yields ZN is a slow turner. Boone's more of a speedy turner. Um, you all know what happened to BTPs yesterday. You can just be short BTPs, you know, kind of forever. Um, BTPs are screwed. I don't 
know why my BTP chart uh, keeps doing that. FBTP1. Of course, short BTPs is the way. Uh, we talked about this endlessly. Yesterday was a washout, wipeout. Um, you know, sell anything on the 140 handle, BTPs. And finally, Bitcoin. Man, did we get this wrong? Motherfucker. Look at that. We started accumulating 8,000. We puked uh, through 7,000 yesterday. Just the price was dancing and it looked pretty ugly. 4,200 the low today. Another 20%. Um, we love Bitcoin. But it's obviously massively illiquid. And in these times where everyone is just getting out of everything and raising cash, the same thing is happening in Bitcoin. It's basically, this is the gold chart. If you look at this and look at the gold charts, it's basically the same thing. All of these safe haven trades are blowing up. Bonds are going to do the same. Um, because it's sort of Armageddon type stuff and everyone's just like, fuck all investments. We're just going to cash. So Bitcoin stung a bit, angered me quite a bit, uh, but it is what it is, and we move on. No Bitcoin in the portfolio. Finally, Euro Norway. Uh, um, this price is <clears throat> is fairly out of hand, right? We were talking about selling 32s yesterday, and we were just tactically trading, and we sold 32s. We bought. 21s, we sold 32s, we bought 24s, um, core short, Norway, uh, Euro Norway is, is the way forward, uh, the oil price seems to have stabilized a bit, can't really, you know, stocks have gone down another sort of 12, 14% and oil is just sort of sitting here, uh, so we think the, the fun and games in oil are, are, are over and it's basing. And so it's now it's time to start looking at uh, getting long Norway. But you got to be tactical and you got to, you know, trade for a massively good average, right? Um, can't just own it, sit with it, and pray that it's right. Because in these markets, both sides get nailed. So, you know, yesterday it was basically 1942, like six times. Um, I don't want to exaggerate, but 40, 20, 40, 24, 40, 23. I mean, these are 20 handle hourly bars. You got to take advantage of that. Every time you do that, your 32s become 42s, your 42s become 52s, your 52s become 62s. And then ideally, you're short Euro Norway, a core short at, at, at an average of 12. Um, then you can breathe a bit and, and sit and wait for the big bigger turn. All right, listen, I've said enough. Careful is the word today. No specific great setups that I'm just dying to get involved in. Um, it's kind of wait and see. You'll see uh, stuff on Twitter for specific entries. I wish you guys luck today and a good weekend to follow. Talk to you Monday. Ciao.